ever since whatever this new phase of the MCU movies started happening, I knew that they were going to just push the woke agenda even harder into every mainstream character. It's been a disaster in every movie so far, and the MCU has fallen to the point where nobody even wants to watch it anymore. We saw how bad the Eternals failed. They tried to make Shang-Chi into some sort of victory when it wasn't. And finally, people are starting to tune out. And I hope you are too. There's a lot of alternatives out there, and I would love to eventually make movies of my comic books. I petitioned Elon Musk to do so on Twitter yesterday, but you know I don't expect him to actually fund my movies. But you guys can. You can fund my comics and my books right here on Subscribestar. I'm making an alternative to the mainstream industry with great superheroes, great fantasy, great science fiction, number one best-selling stuff, award-winning stuff. And I appreciate everybody who subscribes to Subscribestar, which is where we are really pushing our new content. I put up a brand new novel yesterday. I hope you'll check it out and support the channel. Thank you guys so much who do so. All right, Thor Love and Thunder uh, released their trailer. And oh my gosh, this is not an article about that. This is actually an article from Bounding Into Comics where people have gone online uh, because there's a scene with Chris Pratt in this trailer uh, freaking out, calling him homophobic and all that. And you know why, because he's a Christian. At the end of the day, these people are Christophobic more than anything else. Christianity is the one thing that they fear more than anything because they are evil. Uh, they are demon-possessed. Uh, they are pushing a satanic agenda throughout Hollywood, throughout Marvel Comics, and especially throughout Disney. And they don't want any pushback from Christians. They want to silence Christians at every turn. Now, this trailer was a train wreck on every single level. You watch it, and you think you're watching like some 80s parody movie like where it's supposed to be humorous, like Goonies or something like that. It really doesn't evoke Thor. Now, of course, they changed the name from Thor Blood and Thunder, which was a comic... Uh, event back in the 90s, and uh, it had nothing to do with this stuff. And you watch uh, this Thor just act like a complete cuck throughout the entire deal. Natalie Portman, of course, takes the hammer and becomes Thor herself because, yes, strong female lead Thor at the end. Uh, we've seen that they're making King Valkyrie, who's a, a, I don't know why she's a black lady to begin with, but that's another story. But uh, there's a word for king uh, when it's a woman. It's called queen. Uh, Thank you very much, SJWs who don't know how to use language. Well, they do. They know exactly what they're doing with language throughout all of this stuff. It's just a it's just a complete train wreck on every level. But there's a little scene in it where Thor is in, in this uh, trailer, which you know I'm not going to show and get in trouble on my YouTube video here, but we'll talk about it. Uh, where Chris Pratt, uh, who is from Guardians of the Galaxy, Star Lord, uh, gets in front of Thor, and Thor's talking about people who you love and etc. Uh, you know, talking, giving this like really emotional speech. While he's uh, he's looking into uh, Chris Pratt's eyes or whatever, it's really gay. And of course, both characters they want to push that because everybody has to be gay now, and they're doing it as a quote joke, but it's kind of serious too. There's a guy crush there. It's it's deep in there, and of course, uh, that is uh, something that just makes my eyes roll. They got it stop with this nonsense they're not going to though it's going to keep pushing into every movie and of course these are directed at children the most people who want to watch these are you know young teenagers who are impressionable and all that and it is intentional it is a propaganda tool in order to groom these children into those lifestyles that is what they want to do with these products at this point they don't care if it makes money anymore uh, they've made their money off of these properties they're subsidized by the federal government let's be honest like disney is propped up on every level. They don't need your money. It's really sick what's going on in this country uh, to do this sort of stuff. But that's another story. It's an awful, awful trailer. The movie premise is awful. It's based on the woke comics that destroyed Marvel Comics to begin with. And I don't know anybody who wants to see this. I mean, this is just going to be an ultimate, ultimate disaster beyond any other Marvel movie so far. I think it's going to make Eternals look like uh, a brilliant, brilliant film by contrast. So this is what we have coming up soon. And again, I just got to tell you that you don't give money to people who hate you. Don't go see this movie. Uh, that's going to be the one way you can fight back. It's the one way you have to check out of this stuff and not care about my brand like a lot of these uh, other channels do. We know that there's some people out there that make videos like this talking about them. And they're, they're, they're a little, I'd say, tamer in the way that they talk about this stuff. They're, you know, of course, trying to appeal to the mainstream audience. You know who I'm talking about. I don't have to name them. 
and they're going to go out and see this movie day one, and they're going to make a nice video where they, they put up their thumbnail where they got their soy face mouth open in it, saying how bad the movie is, but uh, I'm just not going to see it, and that's what makes the difference. Create your own culture, support people who don't hate you, and of course, avoid Thor Love and Thunder. Leave a comment down below with what you think. Did you see this trailer? Oh my god. Whew. Hit the like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.